You know what, Aquarius? Let's begin. Let's see what's coming your way in love and what we need, um, you know, to be um, kind of aware of. So let's see. Kind of difficult to shuffle, I know, but we'll, we'll do our best, you know? And I so love what's going on here. We do have the King of Cups with the Ace of Cups. So if you are dealing with the water sign, Aquarius, that is love in the picture. They definitely still have emotions and they have a cup to offer. We also have the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you are dealing with. Or they want to offer love and stability. Love and commitment. Love and the everyday life together. And now we do have the Queen of Wands, a lot of people are involved. Queen of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. A lot of people involved in Aquarius in your situation. And now we have the Knight of Pentacles. Oh yeah. People, people, and some more people. I wonder why so many people, but we'll see. I'm sure the universe is trying to tell you something, Aquarius, with all these people showing up. Might be a family situation. Maybe everybody is up in your business trying to tell you who to choose and which one. In case you have choices and because of all the feminine energy there, I might be picking up the energy of a gentleman, Aquarius. A charming gentleman being followed by multiple people. By multiple feminine energies <laughs> well it happens why not no judgment here bottom of the deck seven of cups most certainly choices aquarius we do have the seven of cups an energy of confusion illusion multiple choices we don't know we have seven cups but we don't see the full extent of the treasures in in them and six of pentacles we might be a little bit in need of a little bit more balance you know till we choose or as soon as you choose, you'll, um, you'll bring that um, type of balance again in your life. And I feel you long for balance right now. Reciprocation, you know, honest decisions, honest conversations, honest stability. I feel you long for it. That is a need there. But um, it's also a need to make some uh, def de like, um, um, definite kind of uh, decisions, right? So let's see. Well, Aquarius, in the past on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome. Possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups in reverse might be an emotional time for us, um, Aquarius, right? Trying to figure out emotions, trying to figure out somebody, maybe a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Dealing with a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of a love situation that we are confused about, but let's ask for clarity, right? So Aquarius, in the past, you and this person, um, well, I kind of believe it was a hell of a fight. Uh, we do have the five of wands. We, I, sometimes I like to call it a fight and a half, but doesn't have to be. We know five of wands is uh, internal struggle, and I believe that was a bad decision that was uh, made. Somebody made a final judgment. Somebody made a final decision about maybe you, uh, maybe the, the relationship you have with them. And um, a turmoil kind of followed after this um, judgment call that somebody maybe took it lightly. You know, judgment is um, is really in reverse, right? Of um, not giving a second chance or not seeing the full picture, not using their best, uh, you know, uh, foot forward. And because of it, we kind of struggled and we got confused and we had no idea what in the world have we done, right? That's the... That is kind of the five of wands energy beating yourself up over trying to understand 
um, you know, a decision that when a decision is not based on something that's rational, I mean, it's a waste of time to try to understand, right? People make um, emotional decisions and we try to understand with our head what was done with, um, you know, the heart or the uh, lack of, right? So kind of difficult, I would say. Now, Aquarius, the person you are dealing with, they have the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Well, if your question is if they were ever committed to you or felt like, well, the answer is a lace right here. It says yes, they were very clear about the level of commitment they wanted with you. Um, they might have been a little bit unstable financially or maybe coming from a position of weakness in terms of... Um, uh, being autonomous, being independent, uh, making their own money, paying their own bills might might have been that. But in terms of commitment, in, in terms of understanding what commitment involves and implies, well, there was a sense of clarity. Um, yeah, of course, um, because Seven of Cups is here, there were times of confusion for them. And they, um, you know, he or she, whoever you are dealing with, right, when I say they, um, came to term with it, right? And that was a work that was done. The strength and the devil, Leo energy and Capricorn energy, um, might be a Leo or a Capricorn that stood between you and this person. But it's a beautiful energy of fighting temptation and staying strong and staying on their best behavior. Um, maybe you met this person in, um, you know, in a time of confusion, a time where you are searching yourself. Um, and the Five of Wands might be an indication of you struggling to see if they are or make your judgment call in regards to them. But in the midst of it all, uh, both of you stood strong and there was this temptation that was fought. And there was this, for some of you, this addiction that you tried to solve uh, you or them, right? Because it's then uh, an addiction of some sort, the codependency stood between you and this person was something that uh, kind of tainted both your energies. And again, I go back to the strength. I do love this. No matter how big the struggle between you and this person, this is strength in kindness, right? So both of you, you remained kind and polite and in control and strong and courageous and fighting the good fight. Um, it's beautiful energy. I love this Aquarius for you. I do love it was a little bit of a mess, but the way it was dealt with and the approach to it is really one that is uh, comes from a place of strength and understanding. Now, on your side, Aquarius, current energies, we do have the Eight of Swords and we do have the Eight of Cups. Eight, we know it's infinity sign, it's meant to be its destiny. It's, um, you know, the universe in control and having a plan. But that is a beautiful energy here of walking away emotionally from a mental prison. Eight of Swords, you might have been bound to this person because you have the devil. You might have been obsessed with this person. Eight of Swords is an energy of, oh my God, the mountain is so big. There is no way I'm going to get to the other side. Um, and it's not true. And it's not true. And we, um, right, we uh, eat the elephant a bite by bite. Um, and it's the same with the mountain. Step by step, we um, get to the other side. And I do love that it is paired with the Eight of Cups because this is, again, an emotional time. Queen of Cups for you, as the overall energy speaks of sadness, of tears, of wanting and longing somebody that we no longer have. This is an energy where we don't really uh, feel in control, but oh my God, we know and we long for this emotional control. And we know that we need balance. And you know, um, okay, we say it in the head space, but you know what I mean, in your mind, you know what a state of equ equilibrium is and you know that you need to get there. And I just love what's going on right now because it um, it is an emotional disconnection from your own mental prison, from whatever keeps you prisoner of your own mind. Um, so I love this. I love this. You have to keep going. You have to continue to do what you do because you are on the right track over here. Now, the person you are dealing with, um, 
Aquarius, they are heartbroken um, over what happened and they feel insecure. <clears throat> Again, they feel that they are not confident. They feel they are not enough. They don't have all the tools to deal with the current situation and they are mending a broken heart over, the, over what happened. <clears throat> this is, um, you know, um, this is an energy of working on themselves and I believe they, the touch of clarity came in the past with the Seven of Cups. It came in regards to the commitment, it came in the regards to the emotional involvement in the situation. This is also an energy of um, wanting to change something right now about and taking control but being unable to. You know, either because of uh, feeling insecure, either because they are focused on themselves. And Three of Swords in Reverse indicate that they are really working on their heart. Taking care and doing what's necessary. We have the Queen of Cups again. Between the two of you, the lack of communication is highly emotional for both of you. It's emotionally draining. You know, you have something to say to them. They have something to say to you. And yet the Ace of Swords is in reverse, right? Right now, nobody is approaching the situation. Nobody is sharing. Nobody has answers. Nobody wants to share. And because of it, we are just, um, you know, on the belly, on the tummy. Really, uh, right? Um kind of horizontally doing nothing actually right and it is the silence is exhausting for both of you actually and hurting to some extent but i see some work both of you you are doing the necessary work because this might have been quite intense you know strength is an indication of lust is an indication of pleasures devil is an indication of pleasures and um, excesses of some sort so i Kind of, that's a strong indication that this relationship was intense, Aquarius, in any way possible. And um, of course, we don't have the tower for the boom, but might explain a little bit the need for emotional balance and the need for distance and and trying to heal, you know, the energies around you and get back to, um, you know, the universal flow where we feel at ease and at peace, you know. Um, very interesting, actually. I love this energy, Aquarius. Now, moving forward, let's see. Moving forward, we do have the Ten of Wands and we have the Five of Cups. We Ten of Wands is a card of responsibility and perseverance and doing the work and doing the extra hour if the end result is Five of Cups in reverse. You are fighting for your peace of mind. You are fighting for your emotional disconnection from this. You need a fresh new perspective. You need emotional times to go over, to to you know to put some distance between you and all the emotional burden of this situation. And we are doing the work, baby. And I so love this ten of wands. It's a card of burdens, but I feel uh, this is not about burdens. This is really step by step. No matter how big the mental prison you put yourself in, you know, we are taking it down, um, you know, um, bit by bit. So I love this. And I do feel, and you are an air sign, so we know the power of the, of the mind is, um, you know, the, um, the main, um, you know, uh, strength in, um, in your zodiac sign and in the earth, in the air sign, sorry. Um, so I, I feel emotional times are really like double challenging for you and I so love the way we deal with this. We deal with ones, we do the work and we deal with the eight of cups emotional perspective. We move away and we try to, um, you know, undo the whatever was done uh, with your own mind in moments of, um, of, um, of loss or feeling lost, right? Now, the person you are dealing with, they have the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Wands. Well, equally emotional. Both of you, highly emotional about what happened. Again, this is an energy of sadness. This is an energy of tears, an energy of trying to gain, to go back to emotional control. Pisces gets that energy and also with the Ace of Wands, longing for a new beginning, but too emotional to go and get it to come and ask you for it 
Ace of Wands is here, the attraction is still here, but right now it's a very... I believe I'm picking up the energy of, of an Aquarius who just separated from somebody and it was a decision that, uh, you know, challenged a whole system for both of you. Um, might have been a, a moment of weakness and confusion. Seven of Cups, it was the first card out, right? Seven of Cups. We are a little bit confused over here. We don't know. So might have been one of those decisions when for a split second we think we know and we make a decision and then everything that follows actually kind of, you know, uh, shakes a bit uh, your conviction that that was good. This is how it feels. For some reason, there is no communication. Uh, and I honestly feel that this would solve a big issue here because we have twice the card of confusion, seven of cups, twice mental prison, um, and the lady is blindfolded, so she doesn't see much. So again, you know, these are those energies of, if we don't talk about it, we will stay kind of emotional. Uh, but you are doing the work. I love this. Well, this person, they are still in their emotions. Mutual energy is five of wands. Um, upright and the seven of pentacles in reverse um, between the three and what's coming your way I would say that is this um, energy of conflict so I don't know Aquarius how you ended uh, this or they ended this but now we are moving towards an energy of struggling of exchanges and energy of fighting maybe beating yourself up and they are beating themselves up over what happened and with the seven of pentacles in reverse, this is an energy of rushed, um, you know, uh, decisions. Um, if upright is all about waiting for the harvest and the right time, in reverse, maybe both of you, you want to you wanna rush into something, but let's be aware of the five of wands, right? Rushing things might bring this um, conflictual kind of energy, and I don't think I don't feel this is conflict between the two of you but it might be but I'm mostly I'm feeling this energy of you know when we uh, prevent the universal flow and we uh, put barriers and obstacles and then it's like trying to stop a river from flowing right it goes all over the place and it splashes and 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 uh, floods everything else around right when we try to um kind of cut short the, the natural flow of a river or you know so that's exactly the same energy with the universal flow right when we put obstacles and we put with our mind sometimes with our action we really put obstacles and I feel that it's like um, I, I'm sensing in this reading that we need to give time time that's exactly how I feel and um not, not to rush into something because we have healing here. We have emotions that we need to deal with. We need to gain perspective from a very intense, I mean, the strength and the devil together. It's, um, it's quite an intense energy. So um, we have some self-care, um, both of you actually. Um, you have some self-care um, to be done, insecurities. Um, um, again, a broken heart and we have work. We have work, Aquarius, and I do hope you have a plan over here, um, you know, for this. But they are suffering just as much, um, Aquarius. They are suffering, if not more. I tend to believe you detach yourself slowly, but this person, they are suffering even more. Um, when I look at this, oh, these cards. Now let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what are we supposed to do with this um, soulmate of yours. Some food for thought. I'm not seeing Ace of Cups. I'm not seeing Two of Cups. I'm not seeing Six of Cups. Just apply it as it resonates to you. You know, I'm a, I'm a love junkie. I look for those cards and energies. So, And um, Aquarius, the guidance for you is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I believe you need to let go of somebody and open up to love again. 
I'm sorry, but this is how I feel. I know they are suffering even more. They are in a bad place. Um, but the universe is saying, you know, um, time for new. Time to keep an open mind. Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Let me have another one. Surrender low self-esteem. We do have the magician in reverse, so somebody has a self-esteem issue here. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. And Aquarius, surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Aquarius, you are the best. You go through it. You will go through it. And of course, however this applies to you, but the universe is saying, again, you have to use your better judgment. It says release your ex and keep an open mind. Be open to options, right? And whatever the universe brings um, towards you and for you, actually. Aquarius, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see you next time. Love you. Take care.